Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, May 26th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Brain breaks sure do have an amazing effect on anyone who wants to try it. Now for today's word of the day. Hey Aiden, did you finish studying for the test tomorrow? No, there was a lot of commotion in my class so I couldn't focus. Me neither, so if you want to come over later, I'm sure there'll be less noisy disturbances. Really, thanks. It'll help me a lot to study a place with less commotion. You're welcome, and it'll help me a lot too. See, See you, you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, word of the, the Day. day. Wow, that's an interesting word. Now let's check in with Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, today we highlight another athlete with a story of determination and overcoming obstacles. Five years ago, while still a professional rugby player, Ed Jackson had a diving accident and became disabled. While he was still on crutches, he decided to try climbing mountains as the outdoors made him feel better, and he fell in love with it. Last month, Bad weather stopped Ed and a few friends from completing a 7,000 meter mountain climb in Nepal. On the bright side, they made it to a crazy 6,800 meters and set a new record for a paraplegic. He'll be back to finish this daring climb. Now let's see what's cooking with Valencia. Thank you, Scott. Patriots, for today's lunch we have sweet chili chicken, stir fries, green beans, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Valencia. That sounds great. I'd love to try some stir fry. Patriots, the kindergarten graduation is today and tomorrow. Congrats to all our kindergartners for making it to the next grade. The book fair is here until Friday. Don't forget to check the schedule to see when it's your turn to go get some books. Patriots, the 8th grade barbecue is today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. It sounds like fun, so don't forget to wear your 8th grade shirts and some sunscreen. The 8th grade prom is almost here. It is the biggest formal event in 8th grade. It's tomorrow from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. I can't wait to see your amazing outfits. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Destiny. Thank you, Peyton. Good morning, Patriots. Today, get ready for a glorious 89 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy skies. Patriots, summer's coming up, so get ready for some hot weather. In other weather news, have you ever heard of a skydiving salamander? Well, if not, check this out. There are salamanders which live in the coastal redwoods that use skydiving as their way to get down from high places to evade predators such as raccoons, snakes, and skunks. Just like a real skydiver, they spread out their arms and legs while using the wind to their advantage. How cool is that? Now let's go to Randy for today's birthdays. Thanks, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Amaya Kiano, Ethan Welch, Braden Spencer, and Shavant Mosley. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Randy. Patriots, here are your past expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. 
Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Only. You were the only one who had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, during a thunderstorm, which comes first, lightning or thunder? The correct answer is, they happen at the same time. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What movie is Princess Fiona from? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV will like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!